forward. I'm so, I'm so reborn. I'm moving forward. Keep moving forward. I'm so, I'm so. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Spin That Reviews. This is the first installment, and I am reviewing The Dungeon Weaver by Raccoon Tour. Raccoon Tour is a pop punk band led by frontman Nate Burr that started out in Idaho and has now moved to New Jersey. Dungeon Weaver in itself is the band's debut release, but is it very good? Let's see. Firstly, I think it's actually important to note that there's two versions of the album. The first version of the album is called the lore version. However, there is a second version, which is the online version, that I Surrender Records wanted. So, both the record label and Raccoon Tour compromised by making the lore version the one that you can buy physically, and the one that they wanted to be picked out digitally. I'm going to use the lore version instead of the digital version, because the lore version is the one that they wanted to use to tell the story. Firstly, we got the title track, The Denton Weaver, which has stellar instrumentation, but falls flat in its vocals, which feel very samey, and that is a theme that is constantly reappearing in the album. Next, we get Mount Hecla, which is just a song that does nothing for me. It feels very boring. Next, we get Converse County, which goes back to that stellar instrumentation and actually has decent vocals. Though the outro feels very awkward. Maybe I... It's something that didn't need to be repeated for a minute on end. Though, that's what the online version does pretty well. Next, we have Nightmare Eyes, which funnily enough, the band actually came out and said it is their worst song. And in some ways, I would agree. The song in itself is very bland and gets stale after the first two minutes. However, the lyricism is some of the best on the album. Next, we get into Mischief Night, which is a nice change of pace and a breath of fresh air for the album. It feels very Denton Weaver-esque, which is actually to its praise. Next, we have Horror Show, which I would consider to be a very solid track. However, I don't feel like the Hecra edition needed to be there. Both artists can make very different music. I mean, compare the Denton Weaver to My Friends Beneath Us, and we see some very different music styles. Next, we get Fuck, which sounds like something straight out of 21 Pilots' Vessel. And it has a very solid bridge that I continue to come back to the song for. Next, we have So Far and Running, which is my personal favorite song on the album. I can't compliment the production enough. This song is very much an improvement over the first time that they did this, which I would almost consider it a demo. And finally, we get a switch up in tone, which is something the album tends to lack. Also, I think it's a pretty cool idea to take the chords D and G and spread them out as far as they can go, sort of like To Be Kind did, without all the PRANK LITTLE LAMB, PICK RED HOT SLAM. And finally, we get Funeral Song, which is, in my opinion, a pretty boring song up until the ending guitar solo. But that ending guitar solo is pretty good and has a nice sense of finality. Overall, the production on this album is very, very, very good. The drums are crisp, they're so crisp, and I love listening to it on a nice pair of headphones. Although the vocals can feel samey at times, it is made up for the stellar instrumentation that Nate Burr had created. And while I would consider the second half much better than the first half, the first half's instrumentation on songs like The Denton Weaver and Converse County make that first half worth listening to. And finally, this album has very good lyricism, and I'm sure a lot of people could relate to the lyrics on the album. So, while I have given my support to Raccoon Tour, in fact, I went to one of their shows last year, I feel like you have to listen to them casually, because on its own as a main course, it doesn't hold up very well. And although it's not the worst album I've ever listened to, I would still give it a light 6.